University of Technology. The femtosecond laser system that we use for high harmonic generation is a brand new system and in fact it's the first of its kind here in Australia. Also, the experimental research and in particular the application of coherent diffractive imaging is the first of its kind in this country. So, we are conducting pioneering research here at Swinburne University. It all started in 2003. During the time I was uh, doing my studies in Munich and I felt like going overseas, getting some international experience. So I got in touch with one of my German professors. He actually recommended to do it at uh, Peter Hennefort's Center for Atom Optics and Ultraflash Spectroscopy. Peter Hennefort is the director of the center here at Swinburne University. So I wrote Peter an email and he told me, yes, you're welcome. You can do an internship here at Swinburne University. The internship was three, four, five months. Afterwards, I went back to Germany, back to Munich. I finished my studies and afterwards I decided to come back to Swinburne to do my PhD. My project is of the ASC Center of Excellence for Coherent X-ray Science and the research is conducted here at the laboratories at Swinburne University. And actually the fact that it's a part of the ASC is very important to me as it stands for high-level research. I have two excellent supervisors, Peter Hennefort and Lep Van Dau. Both are internationally acclaimed physicists and working together with them is quite fun. What we are doing here at Swinburne is we are starting with a particular laser radiation and converting the wavelength of this laser down. A big point of my PhD was actually building the high harmonic generation machine. The machine is driven by the laser and the machine serves to generate this particular radiation that has laser-like characteristics. And we use this radiation for coherent diffractive imaging. This is one of the many applications of high harmonic generation. What we do is we have a particular sample of interest and we want to know the structure of this sample. However, the one that we are really interested in is to study the structure of so-called membrane proteins. At this stage, we are not able to do this. We study microscopical samples. This also is an iterative process. We constantly improve it, refine it, in order to achieve our goals. So that in the near future, we will be able to conduct research on membrane proteins. Swinburne University provides excellent facilities and excellent people to work with. And in fact, our project, our group, started three to four years ago from scratch. And during the past two years, we have actually achieved excellent results and we have published these results in leading scientific journals. Also, we have presented our academic research in conferences, workshops and seminars, nationally as well as internationally. I really like the campus of Swinburne University here in Hawthorne. Everything is very close, everything is convenient, people are very friendly and there is even excellent support for international students. I really enjoyed doing my doctorate here at Swinburne University. My group will certainly carry on the research on high harmonic generation and in particular coherent diffractive imaging and a new generation of PhD students will take over the project that I have started three to four years ago. And I truly believe that it's just a matter of time until a major breakthrough will be achieved in this field of research and who knows, maybe it will be achieved right here. Swinburne University of Technology.